Do you ever wonder why your lawn isn't staying green even though you're watering? I know I do. My name is David. Today we are going to show you how to maximize the efficiency of the water you use on your lawn. The key to a healthy lawn is not watering more, but watering deeper. The idea is to water enough so that the ground absorbs water to a depth of 6 inches, which, in the long run, will conserve water, strengthen the plant roots, and help to reduce disease. Not to mention help give your lawn that greener look you've always wanted. In order to determine a 6 inch watering depth, we need to run a little experiment, which all you need is a few household items, such as 4 or 5 slim cans, uh, tuna cans work really well, a screwdriver, a ruler, and 30 minutes. Step 1. Place six cans randomly amidst the section of your yard you are watering. Step 2. Turn on your sprinkler for 30 minutes. If it is a drought, make sure you're watering appropriately according to the stage restrictions. Step 3. At the end of 30 minutes, use the ruler and measure and record the amount of water in each can. Step 4. Add up the total amount of water from all cans and then divide the total by the number of cans used. Step 5. Use your spade, ice pick, or screwdriver to find how deeply the water soaked into the ground. Once you begin to encounter resistance, you have hit the maximum depth of water absorption. Remove your tool from the ground and measure the length that was inserted into the ground. This is the depth of water absorption. In our example, we placed out five cans. Uh, we took our readings of our five cans and we got 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.4, and 0.7 inches for a total of three inches of water. So we take our three inches of water that we got from our cans and we divide it by five, the number of cans we had. So in in all, we have 0.6 inches of water to our yard in 30 minutes. When we tested the soil depth with the screwdriver, we had a, a water penetration depth of 4 inches. Our goal is 6 inches. So to figure out how much longer we need to water, we take our goal of 6 inches divided by our measurement of 4 inches, which gives us a figure of 1.5. This is the percent of time we need to water longer to equal a maximum water absorption depth of 6 inches. So we do 1.5 times the 30 minutes we watered, which gives us 45 minutes, which that would be our total watering time. An important note, once a proper depth of soil water absorption is reached, it is unnecessary to water again until drought stress symptoms begin to appear in your grass. Drought stress symptoms include footprints remaining after walking across the grass, leaf blades rolling or folding, grass turning a grayish blue color, also grass becoming dry and brittle. It may take as many as seven days or as few as three days for symptoms to begin to appear. Once again, it is unnecessary to water unless you see the drought symptoms appearing. It takes all of us working together to save water. By maximizing the use of your water, you not only have a healthier, greener lawn, but you are also contributing to your community by conserving water.